Hello Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, really any placement of Sagittarius. This is going to be your reading for June 16th through the 30th, 2022. Welcome back subscribers, welcome if you are new. Uh, the link below to my website, I am a clairvoyant psychic reader and master healer. I specialize in distance readings and healing, so it does not matter where you live. I've been full-time with this for over four years now and have clients all over the world. So um, you'll also see the link below for a 15% discount off your very first uh, a healing session with me so you could take advantage of that if you feel called to do so all right Sagittarius we are building to the new moon in cancer which will be on the 28th and let's get you an overall energy take that one all right you've got the dear spirit bring a gentle touch all right, Sagittarius, this is asking you to soften up a bit, to maybe shift out of your masculine energy and a little bit more into the feminine energy. So what does that mean? The masculine energy is like the driver energy, the get things done, the take, initi take initiative, take action. And the feminine energy is more about trusting and receiving and slowing down a little bit. So in bringing that gentle touch, you kind of open yourself up to new possibility, new opportunity. Um, messages from the universe can come in for you. So I really love this message for you because Sagittarius, you, you guys are just so driven. So it's nice to just you know give yourself a little break once in a while surrender let the universe drive for a bit all right let's see what else we've got for you all right second row is your specific person so those of you dealing with a specific person what do we need to know All right, Sagittarius. First up, we've got Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and Four of Pentacles. So this Queen of Pentacles energy, I'm kind of seeing as your energy, Sagittarius. I'm seeing you really focused on just taking care of your health, taking care of your home, taking care of business, just taking care of the things that just really make you feel good, that make you feel grounded, that make you feel um, like things are in balance in your life. And with this Knight of Swords kind of coming, coming from behind you here, the Knight of Swords can be a little bit of aggressive energy, angry energy. So this might be a person around you who has not been expressing themselves the way they should have been. And so it's been building and building and building. And then here come their words out like daggers. So this Knight of Swords may come at you with some frustration and uh, maybe it's because you've been holding back a little bit or protecting yourself, protecting your energy, protecting your time and your resources with the Four of Pentacles here. And as you've pulled back to protect your time, energy, and resources, you're just really focused on you and what makes you happy. And there is someone around you, Sagittarius, that does not like that. Maybe they're feeling like you're ignoring them or they're not getting the attention they are wanting. Um, if anything, this is a message that there was an unhealthy boundary or boundaries, I should say, here within this relationship. So this could be a friendship. I'm also strongly hearing this could be a family member. Um, it could be a romantic relationship. This is a general reading, so just whatever resonates with you. Um, but I'm also seeing that this person acting this way is not going to affect you. It's not going to throw you off at all. And, you know, maybe you need to bring a gentle touch to them instead of lashing out back or fighting back you hear them you acknowledge how why they feel hurt why they feel like they can't express themselves etc and that will just naturally diffuse the situation okay so i'm seeing uh, earth energy around you capricorn taurus or virgo and then also with that swords energy could be libra gemini aquarius okay your specific person sagittarius those of you dealing with a specific person we've got the four of cups the death card and the seven of cups so this is interesting there is something shifting here with your specific person in regards to like their feelings and their emotions okay 
The Four of Cups is about missing an opportunity. So they may have been too distracted and focused on things that really they shouldn't have been or they didn't need to be. And they've kind of missed the opportunity here to connect with you, to go deeper with you, um, to feel that uh, emotional connection with you. And because of that, it's caused uh, kind of a shift in this relationship, in the connection, in the dynamic. So the death card brings, um, you know, an ending, something shifting, something changing. It doesn't mean the end of the relationship, but something within the relationship is changing. And on the other side of that, now there's this confusion. So it's almost like this person avoiding dealing with, you know, how they really feel about you has, has led them to feeling more confusion within themselves. It's like, they don't know where to put their energy, where to put their effort. So if anything, Sagittarius, this is a message for you to, this is not your mess to clean up, okay? If they are confused about you or they are kind of, you know, focused on the wrong things, naturally that's going to cause a shift and a change within the relationship. So um, I'm just seeing you kind of surrendering and letting them get clear because even if you look at their energy here, it's just kind of in the shadow. It's dark. And the Seven of Cups can be about illusion, not knowing what's real, what's fake, you know, where to put your energy, feeling like you're just, you're spread too thin. So um, I do see that they have feelings for you, but they're not prioritizing those feelings for you, Sagittarius. And that is not fair to you. So this could be why um, there's just a little bit of a disconnect and why the universe is, is bringing this death card, which is an, a shift and an ending to this type of energy between the two of you. Okay. Now it may open up into something different because the death card does bring the ending. But if you look back here, the sun is rising on a new day. So there could be new opportunity here for a different sort of connection between the two of you. Um, but for a lot of you, I'm seeing that this shifting kind of out of your space is probably the best thing because your specific person is not focused on you. They're not giving to you like you deserve, Sagittarius. Okay, a lot of water here too. Also strong Scorpio with the death card. So if it's not a Scorpio, it could be a Cancer or a Pisces. All right, and the last row here, we've got two of swords, ten of swords, and the sun card. So, okay, ten of swords is another ending, Sagittarius, and it's like with the two of swords, this is the decision. So the two of swords is actually um, asking you to not quite make a decision yet one way or the other about your specific person. So because of their confusion and because of what you're feeling, you may want to go into your masculine energy, make a change, make a decision and end it. But the two of swords is asking you to um, hold off a little bit on a decision because you don't have all the information necessary to make the highest and best decision. Okay. The 10 of swords can just be highlighting where there has been, you know, a feeling of underappreciated, take, feeling taken advantage of, if there's been any dishonesty, that can really be shifting out of the space of this relationship. But with the sun card as the outcome, this is the clarity, the happiness, the joy, and anything that's been in the shadows is now brought into the light. So the sun card is really going to help clean up what's been going on between the two of you. And it looks like there's been just lack of emotional connection and lack of communication. The communication has definitely been um, stifled here. And I'm now seeing that, you know, earlier, this could have been your specific person with this Knight of Swords energy here coming at you. Um, Cause they're not getting what they want or need, um, but they're also not doing their own work and what they need to be figuring out. So they could be blaming you for that and projecting that onto you. So again, Sagittarius, the message is for you to focus on what it is that you need to focus on, your health, your work, your home, and staying in you know, the more gentle energy, the more soft, um, accepting energy. And I'm just hearing that this is gonna sort itself out. You don't really need to do much. Um, the sun card is also gonna bring clarity where is needed, but for some of you, yes, it will be an ending. The Ten of Swords does bring an ending. But for a lot of you, I'm seeing there's just a shift happening. Definitely a shift happening here. And it's too soon for you, Sagittarius, to make the decision. So the other person might make the decision. 
but again that's you being in your softer energy and then you just roll with it if that's what it's meant to be but you do have the sun here as your outcome which you're going to be fine no matter what Sagittarius you're going to be happy you're going to be joyful you're going to have love okay so strong air energy down here Libra Gemini Aquarius and then strong Leo very strong Scorpio um, I'm also seeing Pisces and Cancer for you You've also got earth energy out here, so Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo as well, okay? Although I was really seeing you as that earth energy, just you're more grounded, you're in a like a, just a stable, good place within yourself, Sagittarius, so. All right, let's get you another message. you've got truth and integrity I love this card because this is always a message that this starts within ourselves so where can we be more honest with ourselves, with our own thoughts with our own beliefs with our own judgments and that naturally helps to shift from within us to outside of us and that affects our friendships our relationships our you know work environments and all of that so the truth and integrity card for me is always a message of looking within where can we be more honest with ourselves about situations people and where we're at in our journey and in our life okay let's get you a spirit animal message and then we'll wrap up Sagittarius, you've got the peacock, vibrancy. You were born to shine and inspire. Practice humility to avoid jealousy. Be grateful for life and more good things will come. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. All right, Sagittarius, I think that pretty much sums up what it's been coming through here. When you take care of you, everything else falls into alignment okay and you can bring that gentle soft touch to everything that you deal with so beautiful message this is your spirit animal through the end of June so hopefully these messages resonate with you you can always watch your moon sign your rising or any other placement of Sagittarius um, thank you for your likes and subscribes they really do make a difference and if you missed the intro um, I am a clairvoyant psychic reader and master healer. I specialize in distance readings and healing. So it does not matter where you live. I've been doing this full time for over four years now and I have clients literally all around the world. So the link below to my website, all the information is there for you. And you will also see there is a 15% discount off your very first uh, session with me. So you can take advantage of that if you feel called to do so. So um, otherwise, Sagittarius, I'm wishing you a beautiful finish to June. I'm sending you lots of love and I'll look forward to seeing you guys back here for the first half of July readings. Take care.